All right, this is iNinja from Game Central Square, and today I'm going to start my playthrough of a game that I downloaded off of the Wii U shop called Unepic. Um, I've already played a little bit so far on this account right here, um, but I'm going to start from the very beginning. So I'm going to go through everything. Oh, I'm going to type my name out here. Um, let's go medium, just because I don't want to die, and I don't, yeah, I don't want to die constantly. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixably. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. <laughs> Moron! The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let a cleric work. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures! Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! I'm good! Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Oh, no, I sprung a trap. I get a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, stupid beer. Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. You switched off the lights! I'm peeing in here! Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the yep, dark. This is how this game starts. Can't see anything. What the? Where's the toilet? I don't get it. I was just peeing in it. Oops. I think I just pissed on the floor. Let's see if I can find the door. Nope. This is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the Equip option. To open the inventory, press Menu and then select Inventory. Okay, let's see if I can find my way out of this dark hole. Inventory, lighter, equip. What's this? Stone walls, columns, darkness. Where am I? It's obvious this can't be real. Then... I'm having a hallucination. Cool! It almost looks real. I'm excited that I'm hallucinating. We're off to a great start. Uh, what's this? There's something ahead. It looks like... a skeleton! I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. I could see her as a skeleton. Or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Oh my goodness. Ouch! A trap! It hit my leg! Awesome. Gotta love when it tries to kill you right out of the gate. Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay, while this hallucination lasts, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool. I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. I'd better draw a map so I don't get lost. It's probably the first sound thing that we've said all day. So, basically, I'm hallucinating, and I'm a little too excited about it. No, my goodness. Skeletons everywhere. For just a regular human without anything going on yet, I've got some pretty mad hops. Not gonna lie. Okay. Oh. Like 
he had a gift, things. and he is unarmed. Uh, no. No, no, no. I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you my hospitality. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? No! That was scary! The shadow thing pounced at me! Wait a minute. Where did it go? This is not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. I've been possessed. Damn it, I can't escape. I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh. I'm possessed. I'm possessed. Why do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body and I can do whatever pleases me. Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it? Ha! <laughs> Stupid creature! I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. Sooner or later, the hallucination will wear off anyway, so... You don't scare me. Alright. I'm way too casual about all of this. Let's continue on. Look at these corpses. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. Well then, aren't you a ray of sunshine? Hey, a sword! Finally! It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke Guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the sword, get close to it and press action. Then, to equip it, find it in the inventory and select equip. Take that. Gotta love video game logic. Alright. And since we are here right now, I'm gonna assign that to a button. There we go. Alright. Look at all this loot! I'm rich! Gold is, what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console! Jeez, I'm an idiot! This is all a hallucination, damn it! It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah! Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Shiny coins. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press action. I've played enough games and a little bit of D&D to know that this is probably a bad idea, so I'm going to skip this for now. In my other game, I didn't take any of the gold, and I don't necessarily want to find out. Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press Menu to open the menu and access to all its options. Yeah, I'm uh, peacing out on that, thanks. Snake! It's enormous! It's as tall as me! Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords are especially effective against living creatures. Alright, time to take on my first bat. Mm, mm. Snake! 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 
and it just made that reference. So you can tell this is the kind of game it's going to be. Where there's a chest, there's loot. Press action when in front of the chest to open it. Should it contain anything, press action again to pick it up. I love loot. Sweet, mace. I'll take that. And while I'm here, I'll assign that to a button again. Right there. Hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axes are super effective against solid objects or armored monsters. Swords, daggers, and spears are less effective. Using the mace against barrels is the best option. All right, let's go ahead and take that mace out then. Bust some barrels open. Sweet. Money. Chest. Oh God. Sweet, 15 coins. Another snake. Let's make some snake steaks. To swap between weapons without having to open the inventory, you can assign a shortcut to your inventory by selecting the item and then pressing Assign button on gamepad. I feel like a mace would just do the job anyway, but might as well just go with it. I mean, I don't know, I'm pretty sure a mace to the face hurts just as bad as a sword to the face. That's just me though. Oh, that's where the bow is. Okay. See, in my other game before, I guess I missed that chest and uh, got to a point where I needed a bow and did not know where it was. So, that's good to know. That is very good to know. I will assign that to a button and pick up some arrows later. A torch. Let's light it, because it's... Really dark in here. Just a Press lot. action when in front of a torch to light it. Bam. Cool. Now I can see things. Hey, an oil lamp. Or something like that. I'd better light it too. Hope that Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Press action when in front of a lamp to light it. Goddamn Belmont. Yeah, so for now I'm just gonna hey, light Dark everything Smokey on fire. Dude. What's your name? I have no name. How's that work? The lord of this castle has no name? You are mistaken. I am not the lord of this castle. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion. One of those one hit point wonders. If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. Well, shadow guy. This castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear and then no one will have to be destroyed just like that. You, a pathetic creature of meat and bone. The creator of everything. <laughs> are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Let's see. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. Oh, we know where this is going. Yeah, healing potions. Give that a shortcut. Damn. That is lights everywhere. It is recommended to assign a shortcut to healing potions. To search for a potion in the middle of battle is suicide, because the game is not paused when you're in the game menu. When you use a potion, you keep the empty vials. They could be useful later. Just like real life. Because I always wondered in other games where those things just kind of disappear to, you know? Crouch when near an edge to illuminate the area below. Alright, this time I'm going to avoid the bear trap. <laughs> okay, sweet. These look painful, so... Let's hit him with a mace. Cool. Here. Oh, 
healing, and we got some short arrows too. That's probably not going to be very effective against these, so I'm going to keep beating them with the mace. Lights for days, good to go. My sword, there's my sword. Okay. Should have crouched to see what was coming. I completely forgot about this. I'm kind of wondering why these dogs have sapphires, but hey, I'm not gonna question it. Okay, down the ladder. It's uh, down here. You need a key to the sewer. Magic essences are used to cast spells and create potions. It is a good idea to keep these for later. Okay, I feel like that was a little later than it should have been, but okay. Need a key to the gardens. Ah, trap. Freaking damn it. This looks important. Gods of Cobol. What is this thing? It's a magical prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. There's a spirit locked in that box? What, like a rival god? You're mistaken, fatuous mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. Really? Why is it locked up? It is a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, it can communicate through that beam of light. Wow, must be an important guy. What's he do? I will not reveal that information. No? Okay, I'll ask it myself. You? <laughs> Foolish mortal. He will never talk to an insignificant slug like you. Really? We'll see. Time for a bluff check. Yeah, this, this just makes sense. Hey, giant spirit thing and that could probably kill me. Who is he? Can't you tell? I've possessed this body to carry out an important mission for my great lord Harnakon. You filthy liar! On Korobaj, it's been a long time. What is this body you've taken? I haven't seen a being like this. This body I've taken belongs to a privileged race, the humans. In that case, I shall restore this vessel's vitality and remove any afflictions from it. Thank you. My great lord will be pleased with your assistance. I shall return if I need healing. There's something else. My great lord has given me a new name. From now on, I shall be known as Zira. Zing. It will be as you say, Zera. As long as I can get here, I'll be safe. Press action when in front of the cage to save the game and recover your health. Ankora Bash Zera, your health has been restored. Game saved. Sweet. Free healing. Okay, I guess that's where we'll stop this first video for right now. Seems like a pretty good point. So yeah, so far, traveling along, found a couple weapons, finally picked up on something that would have helped me immensely a long time ago. So I think this game will go a lot better than my regular one. So until next time.